Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali al Saleh, held the weekly meeting where the council rejects a draft resolution regarding practicing the profession of human medicine and dentistry. It rejected a draft law on amending the municipal law that falls under decree by law 35 of the year 2001. The council then rejected a draft law regarding the use of medical techniques to assist in artificial insemination and fertilization. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, opens the Entrepreneurship Training Center at the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry in the presence of the Honorary President of the Bahrain Society for the Development of SMEs, Farooq Al Muayyad, and CEO and the Labor Fund Timkeen, Dr. Ibrahim Janahi. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. The Entrepreneurship Training Center, in cooperation with the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, held introductory meetings for 50 job seekers that registered at the ministry as a first batch to prepare them to be entrepreneurs as an alternative to employment in cooperation with Temkin. The training includes the basics of entrepreneurship from the operational, marketing and development skills that needed for them to start establishing their own projects. Providing this facility in Bahrain, uh, we like to encourage young people with ideas to become businessmen. At the beginning, of course, the cost of uh, starting a business is expensive. So we provide them with rent-free, communication-free, uh, and other ancillary like you know stationery and so on, to let them estab establish themselves for two years and then we let them go out in the whole world and pay the normal cost. That way, at least they get help at the beginning from the center. Minister of Labor and Social Development affirmed the ministry's keenness to support and encourage Bahraini youth to establish and manage their own projects. He praised the efforts of the Bahraini Society for the Development of Small and Medium Enterprises to spread the culture of entrepreneurship in the Kingdom of Bahrain and develop it for small enterprises and contribute to its growth in order to serve its role in the national economy, praising the initiative to establish this qualitative center that contributes to instilling the basic principles of entrepreneurship, especially for Bahraini youth, to start their businesses in various sectors. Temkin's mandate to incentivize entrepreneurship uh, in the private sector. We are always pursuing opportunities uh, for citizens to pursue becoming employers rather than uh, depending on employment opportunities. By this we are able to grow the private sector in Bahrain and make it the engine of growth. Of course to uh, increase success of new ventures. Uh, training is a key element, uh, hence Temkin is partnering with the Entrepreneurship Training Institute uh, to introduce topics related to entrepreneurship, management, to reduce the risk of failure and to improve and to expedite growth and scale for uh, Bahraini entrepreneurs. I have a business idea and I want to start in the business, but uh, I don't know where to start. So that's why I just started in this uh, course by ETC. They will show us how to start the business, the improve the idea and hone it properly until we are ready for the market and uh, find investors. The Minister of Labor and Social Development visited the center and reviewed the means of education and training, as well as listening to an overview of the training curricula prescribed at the center and the extent to which they meet the young Bahraini's needs and prepare them to be successful entrepreneurs in the labor market. With the target of changing employees into employers, the Entrepreneurship Training Center opens today, supporting young entrepreneurs with facilities and the skills they need to open their own businesses and support national economy. Hiba Abdul Ghaffar, Bahrain International. An implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, his uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units and in light of the royal directives, the Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yagoub Al Hamar, announced the handover of keys of the Naimiyat neighborhood Riyadh Askar project in Khalifa town. The minister stated that Khalifa town project is considered one of the main projects of the ministry.
Trades Program to implement the order of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to build 40,000 housing units. He added that Khalifa Town is considered a model town that it was designed to be connected to a number of main entrances to accommodate the traffic flow of the residents and visitors of the area, while providing paths for pedestrians and bicycles, as well as providing main and secondary power stations and water stations. The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saleh, announced in a press conference the launch of the first conference of Athletes' Hearts, which is being organized for the first time in the Middle East. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the minister affirmed that the efforts of the medical caters are ongoing to organize such events which attract various experts from within the kingdom and abroad to discuss the latest developments in the field of sports medicine. She added that such events reinforce the international status of Bahrain and help it to develop its medical field with the objective of offering the best possible services to medical patients. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, the collective hub was launched today, which was organized by the Tenmo Company and in partnership with 500 startups in the presence of the Somali Minister of Industry and Commerce Engineer Abdullah Ali Hassan and a number of senior officials and business figures. More in this report with Mohamed Youssef. The Collective Hub is considered to be the first company in Bahrain that aims to support entrepreneurs, provide them with help, guidance, investments and supervision. The inauguration shows the keenness of the Kingdom on developing the business sector, and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism plays a vital role in this regard in order to achieve the Economic Vision 2030. The Collective Hub is considered an added value to the incubator ecosystem that is being supported by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. Um, the Collective Hub will offer uh, a full ecosystem to mentor, train startups in addition to a full uh, venture capital investors that will assist the startup uh, to scale up in, the, in Bahrain, in the kingdom and in the regional markets. The CEO of Tenmu affirmed that the company is working on creating new opportunities for startups and create a network that facilitates partnerships and attract investments. We're honored to open, officially inaugurate the Collective Hub, which is a unique um, incubator that serves both the investors and the startups. Uh, this is a unique incubator because we are the first in the region to host both investors and startups at the same space. Uh, uh, our dedicated desks uh, offer startups a chance to uh, open up their businesses and also investors are here to uh, be uh, to have direct access for invest, uh, investment opportunities. The partner from 500 Startup Company praised this initiative and expressed his aspiration that this initiative will elevate the technological sector in the kingdom. We as 500 like to take a role in building ecosystems around the world and one of the things that we saw that was missing in Bahrain was actually a collective space for startups to work out of and investors to work out of together as well. So by setting up uh, the collective hub uh, we've sort of achieved that goal of bringing together investors and founders and giving them a place to really work together as a community and build a community together. Uh, and so we're hoping this, uh, this gets bigger and better and, and have more people get involved. The Collective Hub aims to adopt small businesses and provide a number of programs that aim to develop the business environments in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Collective Hub is a place that gathers investors, entrepreneurs and startups and guide them through their business journey and help them achieve further success. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. The Ministry of Health made a statement in which it declared Bahrain to be free of the coronavirus and that it has taken all precautionary measures against the spread of the illness. Now to ensure the safety and the health of citizens and residents, the Ministry affirmed that it conducted 19 tests on countries that have been affected by the virus within the past 24 hours. 
It said that all cases that have been suspected of the illness, of which there was 74, have tested negative. The ministry said that it is coordinating with all relevant parties in detecting any suspected cases in Bahrain as per the guidelines of the World Health Organization. All arrivals at the Bahrain International Airport who have visited the country that have been affected are being quarantined for 14 days. The statement affirmed the importance of following the necessary procedures and to call the hotline 444 for those who are seeking medical advice in the event of the appearance of suspected symptoms within 14 days from their arrival. In the event of a confirmed case of coronavirus, all measures including quarantining and testing will be followed. The ministry said that it it has reserved the Ibrahim Khan Rehabilitation Center as a quarantine and that it is coordinating with the Ministry of Interior and Ministry of Foreign Affairs to interact or to enact all precautionary measures to keep the virus from affecting the safety of citizens and residents.